So I've been thinking recently about what makes YouTube videos popular and what makes them go viral. And there's this concept of virality which, which is explained in a way that my mathematical mind simply doesn't agree with. It goes something like this. You upload something to YouTube, you share it with two of your friends, they share it with two of their friends, who share it with two of their friends, who share it with two of their friends, and in 10 rounds you've covered about a thousand people, and in, in 35 rounds you've covered the entire planet and half of Mars. Um, this model is so simplistic that it's really difficult to see how to apply it in practice. It, it doesn't tell you anything about how good a video actually has to be and what the reaction of the people has to be um, for the video, for, for them to want to share it. So I look at the numbers, uh, the ones that I get from YouTube Analytics, the ones that I get from um, Facebook page and whatever else I could find. And here's my model of virality. So first, you upload something to YouTube, you share it on a social network, let's say it's Facebook. On average, we have you know, 200 friends on Facebook, but only half of them are going to even see the thumbnail of the video. And that makes sense. You, Facebook has to do some kind of ranking and selection among all the things that your hyperactive social networking friends are, uh, um, are posting. Because otherwise, it, your stream would be overloaded and there's no way for you to, to keep up with that. So, out of the 50% of the people that have seen the thumbnail of your video, only a fraction of them are going to click and actually play it. And there's a lot of reasons for why that might be. Maybe they've seen it um, on their phone without having their headphones turned on, uh, connected, meaning they can't really watch the video right now, but next time they visit Facebook, the, the video is out of their stream. Maybe it's because they're doing it at work and only in a short coffee break and they just don't have time. There, there are many, many reasons. But let's say 10% of the people who have seen the thumbnail are actually going to watch the video. Right? By now, we're in single digits. Maybe, you know, for the simplicity of calculations, let's assume it's 10 people. So, 10 people start watching this video, but over time, as, as the video progresses, you lose the attention of some of them. They just move on. Maybe for reasons that have nothing to do with their video, but maybe it's because the video just sucks. I mean, that could... No, no, that, that's not a possibility. That, that would never happen. Uh, but anyway, only some of those people finish watching. And in my experience, it's about half. So by now we have five people out of which two need to have strong enough reaction that they're willing to click the like or share button so that this process repeats among their friends. You know, 200 of their friends, 100 people see it, 10, 10 of them watch it, 5 of them finish, two click like and share. You need to capture somewhere between 20 to 40% of the people who start watching the video and make them interested in it enough and care about the content enough that they're willing to help it spread. And that's an incredibly high bar. So now it's your turn. I want you to click this like and share button and help me spread this little video to all of my creator friends.